This is the downtown Miami skyline as of July 2022. Take note of it, because in a few years, it's going to look very different. That's because there's a massive arch bridge and double-decker highway being built right in the heart of the 305. Let me show you. It's part of a nearly $1 billion project in partnership between the Florida Department of Transportation and the Miami-Dade Expressway Authority. Pretty bridges and double-decker highways aren't the only things we'll be discussing in this video, as there's a lot more to this project. I brought along my drone. We're gonna get it up in the air so you can see the construction and see exactly where these projects are taking place. All right, let's go. I know a lot of locals will be watching this, but for the sake of keeping this video simple enough for out-of-towners to understand, let me quickly break down the main highways we will often mention. The Dolphin Expressway or State Road 836 runs horizontally across Miami-Dade County. We will talk about the Miami side of it, which intersects with I-95 to the north and south, and eventually becomes the MacArthur Causeway or I-395 going east towards Miami Beach. We're first going to start with minor stuff, then work our way up to the Big Boy Signature Bridge and Double Decker Highway. If you've ever traveled along eastbound Dolphin Expressway, and had to get off to go north on I-95, then you know this particular exit is narrow and always backed up. That's going to change real soon. Construction is underway to widen the exit from a single lane to two lanes. It's expected to be completed by the end of July. Next, I-395 is going to be completely reconstructed at a higher elevation for a pedestrian space underneath. More on that in a second. There's also going to be a new collector distributor system which will flow local and I-95 traffic onto I-395. This cool animation from FDOT paints a better picture of the new space. I was also able to get some footage of the new ramp being built onto North Miami Avenue. As you can see, they are moving pretty quickly, but they still have a lot left to do. Now about that pedestrian space under the highway. Currently it's being used by the construction project, so you'll see a bunch of equipment lying around. In the future, this will be a continuous trail from Northwest 3rd Avenue all the way to Biscayne Boulevard, a total of about 30 acres. This will give locals and visitors a great spot to hang out and go for walks. The added greenery is also a big plus. Now, of course, continuous doesn't mean uninterrupted. You're gonna have to cross several blocks of cars. And as you can see, there's also some train tracks, the Florida East Coast Railway, which is serviced by Brightline primarily. To solve that, they're gonna build a pedestrian bridge over the tracks to provide a seamless crosswalk for people going under the overpass. Now, remember at the start of the video when I told you guys the skyline is gonna dramatically change? Let's move to the heart of downtown Miami to get a look at the signature bridge in its very early stages. Keep in mind that this is along a path for planes taking off and landing at Miami International Airport, just five miles to the west. Because of this proximity, the FAA had to approve the highest point of the bridge, which was settled at 330 feet above ground level. A total of six arches will be built, spanning 1,025 feet altogether, each with lights that'll come on when the sun goes down. Now moving west of downtown on the Dolphin Expressway, another first for Miami is the construction of a double-decker highway. The top level will provide drivers with a direct connection to Miami Beach via I-395 or southbound I-95. The lower level will give drivers access to northbound I-95 or Biscayne Boulevard. This in theory should alleviate congestion as cars are split up onto different levels based on where they're going. So I've told you all about the really cool stuff coming to downtown area and you're probably asking when is it going to be completed? Funny you ask. Not anytime soon. But there's hope for a couple of small improvements such as the eastbound 836 exit to northbound I-95 that's being widened to two lanes. That will be complete towards the end of July. However, this entire project will be completed by summer 2026 guys i came here very early we'll probably make part two three four five we might even reach part 20 by the time this thing is done so keep your eyes on the skyline because it's going to be drastically changing throughout the years anyway thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe it helps the channel out join 4,000 other people who have done so supports me and keeps me going so that i'll catch you guys in the next video oh see where, okay where it come down i want to see because they're moving the, the exits the on and off ramps I no i think shifting. it's right here if i'm not mistaken if I'm not mistaken, I heard something because uh, this parking lot is ours. Okay. Uh, for now, for our construction site. So, how far are you going? This it? Uh, well, they're doing this part and then they're doing uh, the double decker highway. Oh. On the 836. And then they're gonna come here. Come through here and then they're gonna build the big arches. Yeah. Pretty much by the Adrian Arch Center down there. 